Hey guys, now you can follow me on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com slash ultramaximusreviews. In association with nerdaddiction.com. Ultramaximus back with another toy review, and today we're taking a look at a Funko set. It's Ready Player One. Now, this is a set I got from FYE. Um, it is all four of, well, three of the main characters and one of the bad guys from Ready Player One, uh, the Steven Spielberg adaptation of the novel, and uh, I, I really liked the movie. I, I went to go see it not too terribly long ago, and this set has been out since it initially came out, but it was like anywhere from $12 to $15. I got this at my local FYE on sale for $3, and it was definitely worth that. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So here we have the Ready Player One figures in the packaging, and we get four figures. We get uh, three of the good guys and one of the bad guys. Now, uh, they're in a three and three quarter inch scale, which, eh, that's okay. Personally, I prefer figure sets in five to six inch scale, but eh, this is all we got for the movie. I'm kind of surprised we even got figures for the movie, to be honest. Although I would have liked them to have done another set of figures since they've got three of the good guys and one of the bad guy, um, I think they should have done the other two good guys uh, and the uh, main bad guy and the butler, not really a butler, I guess he was a butler, he was kind of the steward of the game. But alas, this is all we got. We didn't get the two Asian characters, which is a bit of a shame because they were pretty cool looking. And they would have made great action figures. So um, we do get um, Parzival, who's the main character. We also get Artemis, um, who's the uh, secondary main character. We get um, H, uh, and it's kind of funny how H's name is spelled on there. It's A-E-C-H, um, like phonetically spelling the letter H, which is kind of funny. And uh, then we get um, Irock, which I'm guessing is from like an Irock, a, 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 the car. Like a Camaro IROC Z um, is where that name comes from. I don't know. But to be honest, H and IROC should be bigger, but they're all the same size, which is really kind of weird looking. But here are all the figures here. The other weird thing is all the good guys have guns and the bad guy doesn't. Uh, I just kind of noticed that. That's kind of strange. So the figures are there. It says Ready Player One. It tells you who they are right there. We get images of them here, um, except we get the two Asian characters, which we don't get here, which is unfortunate. Top of the package um, has the same kind of artwork right there that we have on the front, and it says Ready Player One and it's got all their names. There they are, like that. Uh, side of the package just says Ready Player One. This side of the package says Ready Player One. Back of the packaging, it just says, hey, collect action, uh, collectible action figures, and it's got the same artwork. There's no write-up or anything like that on there. And well, that's uh, pretty much it for the packaging. And today, we're gonna take a look at Artemis. So let's go ahead and get her out of the packaging and see what we think. Here we have Artemis out of the packaging, and she's pink. She's very, very pink. Now, between her and Parsifal, I think she's probably sculpted a little bit better than Parsifal is. It looks more like the character from the actual movie, um, which I like. Uh, she will stand up here. Uh, and uh, that, that, that's kind of cool. I definitely dig that, but um, it still doesn't look quite right, which is a bit annoying to me. The other issue I have with this figure is her gun. As you can see, she can't even hold the gun straight. Um, 
it, it doesn't fit in the hand right, which is really, really bothersome. And uh, I, I, I don't know why they did that. And it's not like she can hold it with the two hands because the arms aren't really sculpted that way, which is bothersome. Now, as far as articulation goes on this figure, uh, if I can get it to focus here, uh, again, she has the same ball joint that Parsifal has, so she can look down that far, she looks up that far, she can twist and look all the way around. Um, her arms are a lot more free-flowing than Parsifal. Um, her arms can go up like that, uh, which is nice, and then she has a single joint at the elbow. Again, nothing at the waist. Her legs kick up uh, that far, which is cool. They don't go back hardly at all. Now, her little silver belt is a uh, free-floating. All right, there we go, back into focus. Uh, so that's kind of free-floating, and that's nice. I do dig that. And then she has the single joint at the knee, which is very, very cool. So, um, well, I don't know how very cool it is, but better if it was a double-jointed knee. But yeah, very basic articulation, and that's what you kind of get in this three and three-quarter inch scale. So taking a closer look at the figure itself, uh, this is another example of beautiful paintwork. It's just the face isn't quite right. I think Artemis has done better than Percival, but she doesn't quite look right, especially around the eyes, like they're not big enough. Love the design on her chest. I think that looks really cool. The pink fade from her arm down to the white on her hands looks awesome. The hair is done wonderfully. I definitely dig that. Uh, the earrings look good, but yeah, the black and the pink and the fade outs on the hair look really, really nice. Definitely digging it. The silver uh, belt that she's got hanging low looks nice. The fact that we can see the pink on her belly looks cool. The gun's done well, but she just can't hold the thing right, and that just irritates the crap out of me that they do stuff like that. Um, but uh, yeah, overall, uh, uh, this is a great example of a wonderful paint job by Funko, but uh, it just does not cut the mustard as far as sculpt work goes. And taking a look at the bottom half of the figure, again, I like the belt, the silver belt she's got. I like how it's floating on top of the figure. It's not a, a hard plastic. It, it, it kind of moves with the legs. Um, I mean, the pants are pretty much done black. Uh, she does have the silver belt that goes all the way around, which is nice. You don't see that all the time with action figures. Uh, so that's definitely pretty cool. Um, her boots are nice and glossy compared to the pants, which have a very flat look. And then she's got the pink kind of ripped jeans going on there. And uh, definitely very cool. I am digging it. Uh, I love the paint on this figure. For comparison... Here we have Artemis with H, her little uh, wave mate, and Chopper from Star Wars Rebels, the three and three quarter inch scale. And uh, yeah, I mean, she's definitely a size scale for the three and three quarter inch stuff. And she could probably even fit into a Star Wars shelf with that crazy pink hair, kind of looking Twilighty or something. I don't know. Or Twilight y with that crazy pink hair. For some reason, it reminds me of a Twilight dancer. I don't know. So is Artemis uh, from Ready Player One a figure you want in your toy collection? Well, uh, again, this is not a great set. Uh, this is an easy pass unless you are a Ready Player One completist. Um, she's probably one of the better sculpted uh, characters, I think, in the set. She looks like the character from the movie, at least better than Parsifal, but she's still off. I like the bright pinks in the character. That is very cool. Problem is she doesn't hold her gun right, and that irritates the crap out of me. Articulation um, articulation's lacking, but uh, uh, yeah, it's just, ugh, it's not worth $15 for a set. I did get the set for $3 from FYE on sale. Totally worth three bucks. So if you've got an FYE and they still have these around, check out the pricing. If they're on sale for three bucks, sure, why not? It's a fun, uh, colorful looking little set, uh, but it's definitely not the greatest. Um, Funko has done better. So yeah, there she is, Artemis from Ready Player One by Funko. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share, like us on Facebook, and look for more videos in the future.